your name? Lucifer. Exactly. Is the morning star Lucifer going to disappear forever? Likely, the fallen angel won't come back. Lucifer is a TV show about the devil, but it's not like typical religious stories. It's a special mix of horror, mystery, thrillers, and police stories. Lucifer Morningstar works with the Los Angeles Police Department and owns a successful nightclub. He works with Detective Chloe Decker, who is unaffected by his schemes. Besides solving crimes, Lucifer and Decker deal with her upset ex-husband, Detective Dan, and Lucifer's brother, Amanadiel. Amanadiel wants Lucifer to go back to ruling hell and will do anything to make it happen. To make things more complicated, Lucifer's immortality weakens when he's around Decker, making their partnership more challenging when they fall in love. Once upon a time, a boy met a girl and they fell in love. As the series progresses, more characters like Amanadiel's mother and Biblical Cain join in, causing problems for Lucifer on Earth. When Detective Decker discovers Lucifer's true identity, she struggles to accept that she's in love with the devil. In the final year of the show, Lucifer does something extraordinary. He tries to take on the role of God and rescue his friend Dan from hell, all while figuring out his own place in the universe. Some might think that Lucifer got cancelled because not many people were watching or to save money. However, the truth is that Lucifer concluded on its own terms. The decision to end the series was made by the showrunners, Joe Henderson and Ildi Modrovich, who felt it was the right time to say goodbye. Henderson explained to Entertainment Weekly, it's the story we were always going to tell. Initially, Lucifer was set to conclude after season 5, but Netflix extended the show for an additional year, resulting in two seasons, 16 and 10 episodes each. According to showrunner Joe Henderson, the decision allowed them to investigate stories that were rushed in the original finale, transforming them into the foundation of season 6. Despite the extra time, the creators of the story knew when it would end. The series was cancelled after three seasons on Fox in 2018, but it found new life with Netflix, which provided three more seasons and 36 episodes. There has been no mention of Lucifer Season 7 returning since it said goodbye in 2021. The sixth season finale, with Lucifer becoming a therapist, provided a fitting conclusion, and the co-showrunners believe it was the perfect farewell. Currently, there's no mystery behind the absence of a seventh season. The creators seem uninterested in bringing the cast back so soon after the show's remarkable run. However, considering the series already has one ending, there's a possibility of a revival. Shows like Good Omens and American Gods demonstrate a sustained interest in unconventional tales involving biblical angels and demons on Earth. Lucifer underwent six seasons over its six seasons. Tom Ellis and Lauren German remained the show's anchors as Lucifer and Decker, while others, like Kevin Alejandro, D.B. Woodside, and Leslie Ann Brandt, stayed for the entire run. However, Kevin Rankin left before season six. Tom Welling and Trisha Helfert were series regulars at one point, and Brianna Hildebrand joined in the final year. For a potential seventh season, the return of Ellis and German is crucial. Alejandro and Helfer may also come back based on their season six storyline. Brandt might not return, but a spin-off could explore her character's story. The future hinges on the core cast's involvement. Given the finale's conclusion, there's much to speculate about the characters, especially Lucifer, who has abandoned both his role as ruler of hell and his temporary position as god, now held by his brother Amanadiel. A potential twist for continuation might involve ditching the police procedural format entirely and transforming the series into more of a medical procedural. This shift could open up new and unexpected storylines for the characters. Given the producer's intention to conclude the series on their terms, a fresh approach would likely be sought if Lucifer were to return. The idea of the devil incarnate becoming a counselor for individuals struggling with mental health could be an innovative concept for the show's continuation. With Lucifer's extensive experiences on Earth and beyond, he could offer unique insights and advice. The new dynamics in the supporting cast also provide ample opportunities for continuation. With Mazikeen and Eve now romantically involved and taking on the role of villain hunters, there's room for exciting storylines. Additionally, the continuation of Amanadiel's family line with his son Charlie could introduce a new young demon character to the cast. This potential shift opens up diverse narrative possibilities for the series. The Lucifer cast has stayed quiet about returning, 
but the showrunners, Joe Henderson and Ildi Modrovic, expressed openness to the idea a year after the series concluded. In a 2022 Screen Rant interview, Henderson shared his hope for a return, whether as another season, a streaming movie, or a spin-off. He emphasized the joy of working on the show and expressed a desire to reunite with the cast and crew. Modrovic playfully suggested Lucifer the Musical on Broadway, and Henderson joked about Lucifer the Animated Series. While fans may wish for another full season or a direct movie sequel to season six, the show's future remains uncertain. The showrunner's positive sentiments, the Lucifer saga, while officially concluded, has left the door ajar for future potential endeavors, much to the excitement of fans and the creative minds behind the series. While the main cast has not explicitly stated their intentions to return, the showrunners have playfully hinted at various possibilities, leaving ample room for the beloved characters to embark on new adventures. One intriguing avenue for Tom Ellis, who portrayed the charismatic Lucifer Morningstar, involves a cameo in the DC Universe. Ellis previously made a cameo appearance in the CW's Crisis on Infinite Earths storyline, opening the door to the possibility of Lucifer crossing paths with Tyler Hecklin's Superman in Superman and Lois. The idea, though seemingly a long shot, is not entirely implausible, especially with the ever-expanding nature of shared universes in television and film. In the realm of DC films, James Gunn is orchestrating a fresh universe, Gods and Monsters, with an emphasis on the bizarre. This presents an intriguing opportunity for Tom Ellis to reprise his role as Lucifer, bringing his unique perspective to oversee the spiritual side of things. While speculative, it aligns with Gunn's willingness to incorporate existing characters and actors into his new cinematic landscape. The dedication of Lucifer fans has been pivotal in shaping the show's destiny. A fan-driven campaign in 2018 rescued the series from cancellation by Fox, and subsequent petitions on Change.org garnered substantial support, securing a sixth season. The recurring appearance of petitions, including one for Lucifer the Movie, underscores the passionate fan base's determination to keep the series alive, making it clear that they play a crucial role in influencing the show's fate. While a traditional revival or a direct movie sequel following season six is what fans desire most, the show's future remains uncertain. The showrunners, in a playful tone, have entertained the idea of alternative formats, such as Lucifer the Musical or Lucifer the Animated Series. These suggestions, though sarcastic, indicate a genuine interest in revisiting the character and exploring creative avenues. Considering Tom Ellis's potential return, whether in live action, animation, or even a comic book sequel series, various possibilities are on the table. The recent popularity of animated sequels for classic series like Batman and discussions of an animated Smallville follow-up demonstrate the feasibility of exploring Lucifer Morningstar's adventures in different formats. Ultimately, the fate of Lucifer may rest in the hands of its dedicated fan base known for its ability to mobilize and advocate for the show's continuation. Whether through traditional means, innovative formats, or fan-driven campaigns, the possibility of a season seven or a continuation of some sort remains an exciting prospect for the Lucifer community. As the showrunners and fans playfully explore potential avenues, the charm of Lucifer Morningstar may yet grace screens once again, bringing his devilish charisma to new and unexpected narratives. And that's what concludes today's video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Feel free to share your suggestions for future videos in the comments below.